Play that shit, DJ. I got you. I'm gonna crank that shit. What's the? I'm gonna crank it. What's the? What's the? This is nice AJ and everything. I'll Let's be the one to it. take the risk to go and get them bands. Okay. I'll be the one to never sit and go and make the yeah. Knowing my mother Do that. Old, and I don't got no time. I gotta keep a couple for the road. Hey, it's the general. Hey, hey. Got it's the general. Got it's the general. Got it's the general. Got it's the general. Yeah. It's the general. It's a vibe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, hey, shout out to okay. Rock. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Hey, what's the deal, y'all? Hope all is well. Welcome back to another episode. I'm Duke. I'm Omar. I'm Jalan. And I'm Tank. And this is nice and neat. And as y'all see, we got a special guest in the building. Mm -hmm. International sensation. Yes, Hello. Sir. International R&B artist. Hello. The general's in the building. Matter of fact, the general in the building, why do they call you the general? Let's start off with that. Yeah, that's, that's, that, Let's that's start a good off question. with that. Because people used to think I, I took this name myself. I was self-proclaimed the general. I am not. So Jonathan Mannion, world-renowned photographer, artist, whole nine, had this crazy idea of shooting tank on top of a tank. Okay. <laughs> for my very first photo shoot. Oh, so okay. I'm like this lean, mean fighting machine standing on top of a tank in That's army fatigues. Idea. I'm supposed to be an R&B singer. I don't know where this photo shoot is going. Right? So <laughs> I see more. Uh, <laughs> where's, the, where's the win? Where's the win? Where's the win? Where's the win? Right? So um, we got this, you know, photo shoot, me in a junkyard, all these things. So we send these the press photos out, what have you. BRE Magazine. Um gets the photos they grab this photo of me in the junkyard i'm here with it you know me what i'm saying my, yeah. i'm looking brolic you know what i'm saying and they say reading the bio this guy's a military kid oh okay we're going thing father air force all thing we should call him the general he's the general of r and b mm. pick up an episode of bre magazine and it says tank the general of r and b and i'm like I, i'm who i'm not Okay, all right. I'm that done. sound pretty and good. And from there, yeah. it just stuck. Mm -hmm. People just started calling me the, the general. general. And Fellas. I, I hey, like it's it. catchy. That's I like it. Good. It's, it's catchy. Good. Because while everybody's running to be, pressing to be the king mm. Mm, and sit up on some type of high and mighty pedestal, I desire to be amongst the people. I desire to be in the war. Hello. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in the fight. I'm with y'all. I'm with y'all. Hello. Mm. So the general's fitting. Wow. Let's give it up for the general of RB. Let's give it up for the general of RB. Can we get that nice and salute? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nah, but man, appreciate y'all. Appreciate you for coming on the show, man. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, you could be anywhere in the world, man, yeah. right now. And um, you know, you're somebody that's really prestigious. So appreciate you for blessing yes, our absolutely, show, man. Absolutely. Straight up. Um and you're a bit of like, I don't want to say a bit, but like, you're a legend. There it is. Yeah. Come not on a, now. Not yeah. allegedly. You're a legend. Yeah. You're a legend, bro. So it's great to have you in our presence. And we just wanted to come, we wanted you to come on the show and be able to just like pick your mind and talk about things that we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of, th we, we like to talk about dating, right? And being very intentional in the dating space and being very rom romantic but we kind of want to dive in dive in a little more intimately mm -hmm. sexually Hello. Yeah, right yeah. and talk about the nuances of our sexual relationships and the way we approach sex right mm. and address any misconceptions that there may be about men and their sexual endeavors right i like that that like makes that. sense i like that i like that I like, I like, you know I like that. Yeah, um, so yeah, man, I think that what, what's your idea of, I guess, romance? Is there, okay, I, I should say this. Is there a difference between romance and intimacy to you? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, how do you, how do you because make the distinction? I kind of want to, I kind of want to say that, I kind of want to say that romance is, is the thought of. Right, and it's the things that you do because of the thought of. You know what I mean? It's it is the flowers. Mm. You know what I mean? It is, you know, making sure the bath waters ran after a long day. It mm. is no, baby, I got the kids. You lay mm. down. I got it. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? You you relax. You know what I'm saying? It is 
put fifty dollars on the table for you. Go get your nails done. Get your feet done. You know how I like that to look. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you know, that's that's the the rom- the romantic part of it. Mm-hmm. The intimacy I think evolves um, a little bit more. Um, how do you say it? I don't want to say touching, but there's a little bit more direct contact. You know what I'm saying? It's not so much about the outside things, but it's more so about the eye contact mm. and the things that happen within that very small space, space that makes yeah. that makes things intimate. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. can you can be out on a on a on a date with somebody, right? Let's just say it's not your past. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Be out on a date with somebody, mm-hmm. and you can be doing romantic things, right? But there could there could also be a point where intimacy never happens. Mm-hmm. Like you never find a place to where that energy, you know, invades the car or invades uh, the table that you're sitting at for dinner or invades, you know, oh, I'll come up for a drink. Intimacy never it never it never shows up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's a different kind of energy than the romantic thing that you set up to impress her or to be about her, yeah. that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Once things get intimate. Things get different. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It, it, things get euphoric. You know what I mean? And and yeah, and I like and, that. And, and, so, so I what, like what, that. What, what, right you, what you're saying, what you're saying yeah. is that things could be romantic as as they want to be, but it's never really taken there until intimacy. Is until to, intimacy jumps in. Yeah. When mm. intimacy jumps in, when we stay in each other's eyes, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I look at your lips, and you look at my lips, and then. You know what I'm saying? We 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 know something. We feel something. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You may touch my my knee a little bit. I'm gonna touch your knee back. Like you know what I'm saying? Now we starting to get intimate. Yeah, yeah. We so, starting so, to close so, the gap. No, that's it's, it's safe to say, like, in order to initiate an intimacy, you kind of have to let the person like in. Get in. Yes. Yeah. I I was just about. To, I was just thinking before you said that. I would say like it's invasion of personal space into Pri- me. Privacy, com- in, in, invasion of it. That's yes, facts. no, seriously, open it up. That's real. Yeah. Seriously, so- oh, be- because you have to let a guard down in order for intimacy to come in. Mm-hmm. Romantic is like, oh, he was so nice, such a great guy, he was yeah. so romantic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when intimacy creeps in, oh, my back. Is killing me. <laughs> he was strong. <laughs> That's what intimacy will do. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? And and and. You can have one without the other, you know what I mean. But them both together, man, you know, powerful things. Are, can are we all aware that there are more levels of intimacy other than just physical? Absolutely. Like I've, I've been, I've been, I'm in therapy, right? And uh-huh. I've been, I'm learning that like there's physical intimacy, emotional intimacy, emotional. financial intimacy, mm-hmm. spiritual intimacy, all of it. Or like all of these things are all a factor. It. So it's yeah. not just it's not just one. It's thing. not just physical that you yes. have to let your guard down. Absolutely. To, in order to be truly be intimate with with yeah. someone, you know? yeah. Talk, bro. So I think I think you talk. mentioned like even, um, an, it's not intimacy even if like you get in the car with me, even we're, if we're at dinner, right? It's not even intimacy until like we both understand this is where we at with it, mm-hmm. right? Intimacy is not really a, a proximity thing. You know, like you're close to me, I'm close to you. It's not, nah, really, not that doesn't make us intimate. Yeah, no. No. it's more no. of like a, a mental, emotional yeah. connection. It's yeah. good. It's, I, I don't even think having sex, yes, is always an intimate thing. Yo, there's yeah. plenty of women there, men have had sex with that you've never, never been intimate with. Her. Never, I'm telling you, right. intimacy is the danger zone. Oh, this is true. Oh. For intimacy who? is the for for whoever is involved. I yeah. mean, not saying danger as in bad, yeah. but that's it gets where deep. that's where it gets deep. That's when she tell you to go when she's looking at you in your eyes. What? And you can't. <laughs> and, and you know. And you know you shouldn't do it. And you know you shouldn't do it, but you say, "I'm here. I'm here. I'm here." Listen, intimacy yeah. is okay. when you snuggle your head in in into her neck. <laughs> you, get the, you get the when you when you get right in here. Oh and, man. And start oh. cuffing shoulders and like when we it's different. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so it's how how what are some stories you've heard? Um, just being an army singer, right, and making very intimate music and sexual music, right, that um, facilitates arousal, right. What are some things you've heard that about like how your music makes people feel, or how it you know how. I don't know me, me and my guy or my girl and we had a great time and we put on your song and you know, we got a kid out of it. Like, what are some stories? Some of those stories that you heard? You're saying it, all of it. Like, yeah. and 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a church kid, you know what I mean? So everything about, about music for me has been spiritual since day one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so music for me sets the tone for whatever you do, mm. for whatever it is. And so, you know, when my music comes on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if, if you're over a guy's house or if a guy is over a girl's house, whoever whoever press, press play on that playlist and that tank comes on, somebody's like, oh, yep. that's, that's what we're doing. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Okay, cool. So this, so this will, okay, okay, all okay. right, all right. I know okay. where we're going. Okay, I know. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it's been so many people who've, who've asked me, you know what I'm saying, to chip in on their child support. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, hey, you you're not responsible for any children born out of wedlock due to the nature of your music. Well, listen, the, uh, you know, you have a disclaimer on your shit. Yeah, you the, should the, have a disclaimer. The way disclaimer. they the, the way they suing people now over stuff, you know right. what I'm saying? It, it, they it's could a new day. they could bring me they could bring me in up on charges. You know what I'm saying? Like my music doesn't promote, you know, it doesn't promote safety first. You know what I'm saying? Like the, my music, <laughs> my music promotes Slide 70s love. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't yeah. you don't put no polyurethane in between that. <laughs> no Nanoxyl <no>, 9. <laughs> no prophylactic. Not, not no. with my music. <laughs> no no, no 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 no. You got to you got to be it's a skin to skin. You got to be spirit yeah. to spirit. No, it's that's, skin what, to skin. that's what my music promotes. So I, I do want to know because obviously there I think there's a progression there's a transition and there's a certain level of comfortability that you have to even be able to begin to make music like that. Yeah. When did you feel like before they self before they proclaimed you as the general of R and B? When did you feel like I'm the general of love making music? When did you feel like that and you begin to roll out those hits and say this is the type of music that I'm gonna make consistently? I, I was confident in that space in 2007 when I put out Sex Love and Pain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I shouted that out. By I the knew way. I, I knew I was great at making music. I mm-hmm. knew that part of it, but you know, understanding that I was that I was I was setting setting the tone for an, a complete a complete environment. You know what I'm saying? Like, sex, love, and pain was it was that was that 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 spoke to me. Said, "Oh, you you're for that. You're for that. Stay there. Mm. Here's your lane. Mm-hmm. You have two lanes. You mm-hmm. apologize amazingly well." And <laughs> you apologize amazingly well, uh, but you also, within that apology, you get to a space to where, you know, we, we, we got to make up some kind of way. We got to put this thing back together. You know what I'm saying? Emotionally, mm-hmm. spiritually, and physically. Wow. Mm-hmm. And that's when I knew. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm a guy. I'm a guy for this. I'm a guy for this. Mm-hmm. After studying Marvin and mm-hmm. all of those guys for so long, after chasing the scream on Distant Lover Live, like chasing it, I, if somebody, I'm, I can't wait till somebody screams like that mm. when my hit record comes on. Chasing Marvin for so long and finally getting it at Howard University. And, you know, I'm a guy. I'm a guy to set the tone for, for this. I got you. I got you from now on. Wow. That's, what I <laughs> That's crazy. Was, was the idea of, um, you know what? What was your relationship with sex early on in your career? That was is it, a what, great in question. Let's drink to that. Let's drink to let's that. Let's drink to that one. Let's drink to that. <laughs> let's drink to that. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> boy, boy, look at here. Boy, look at here. Hey, hey, boy, boy, hey, boy, 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 no way, boy, 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 no way, boy. boy you asked the question. So here's the thing. Oh, here's the thing. We all have different relationships with with sex, right? But there's a uh, a narrative that all men view sex the same exact way when we all know that's not necessarily true not true and then we and we all experience sex at different levels and then also we all play by different rules because every man ain't the same mm-hmm. right so what was your experience and how did you treat and approach you know sex was it something that was like a sport to you or was something that you really put effort in and you really tried to connect with I'm everyone finna, i'm finna go fent to i'm finna I'm okay. come on now i'm finna go there okay Take us there. come on run it up my wife hates when i tell stories okay okay i'm finna go there, there wherever that is come on <laughs> come on come on dear i'm young dating an older lady at, at the time what do you mean by older and how What's the age gap? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I'm 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 6. She's, 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 she's eight years older than me. And at 18, that's 18, a big deal. That's a, that's a big, big deal. deal. That's Three a big years is like a big deal. That's like 20 to 40. Yeah. Big, that's like 20 to 40. At that show. time? No, seriously. Yeah. Big difference. She's, she's 26. She's a woman. Okay. She's a woman. Grown with it. She's a woman. <laughs> Her own place, car, job. Oh, yeah. 401k. <laughs> Oh, she's a woman. I'm like juice. I'm, 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 I'm way out of my league. I don't know it. Yet, you know? Uh, oh, so, you know, we're starting to uh, get intimate. Are you? By the way, are you in LA at this time? Nope. Okay. I'm in DC. Okay. okay. I'm still in Maryland. So, still as the worker snapper. So, we're starting to get intimate, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm young. I got energy. You know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to pet and play for, for a whole movie as long as we can. You know what I'm saying? Pet and play. So, it's finally that time. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's time to get in there. You know what I'm saying? And so, we lay down and is there's a moment where there, lack of a, lack of a better term, where you're, where you're, where you're breaking in. Mm-hmm. You're kind of, you tr- trying to get all the way in there. Mm-hmm. Takes about four to five, mm-hmm. you know, good good thrust to really get all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's hey. so real. <laughs> By that fifth thrust, I had got all the way in. The pelvis, the pelvis. And I needed to pull all the way out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Life comes at you fast. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. And I was like, oh, this is, I'm sorry. I don't, I, I'm sorry. She's like, no, it's fine. You know, we've been petting and playing, you know, for a while. And, <laughs> I'm you know, sorry. you just got excited and then, you know, it happens, you know. She's your grown with the grown with the grown. You know, you feel, you cool. feel so ashamed when you apologize. <laughs> you oh my God. I'm, she so, your back. I'm so, I'm so, <laughs> okay. so okay. ashamed. Okay. I'm better than this. And so, <laughs> cut to the next morning, you know, like, oh, we're starting to try again. Start, starting to get hot and heavy. You know, okay, here's a chance to redeem myself. And we start getting in there, and we start getting to a certain rhythm, and she was like, "Oh, I'm about to, I'm about to." I said, "Me first. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. And she said the words that haunted me for a long time. She said, "Oh God, <sighs> damn." She cut deep. <sighs> oh God, because you knew exactly what that meant. It was yeah. a failure. Yeah. Mm. And that sent me on on a hunt, on a chase, on a desire to please at all costs. Mm. Sent me raging. A lot of the times, like, you know, my relationship with sex in the beginning of my career was, my idea was, was seeing a woman that she needs me. She needs to be pleased. Because I had went so long being very bad at pleasing women. Mm. Hmm. And That's so crazy. my the access that I had with my music and with, you know, all of these things that, you know, made it easy for me to get into that space with women, they don't realize it wasn't about me. It was about them. I needed to please yeah. them mm-hmm. in order to be fulfilled. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because I had taken so many L's. Yeah, and you you probably took L's because it was about you. Well, no. Here's what I didn't understand. <clears throat> I didn't understand. I didn't know my body. Mm, that's true. You know what I'm saying. I didn't know my chemical makeup. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what pleased me. And. What pleased me was women being pleased. pleased yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so I, I, I had to think, I had to like, I was like, what is going on? Every time a woman gets into a rhythm, that orgasmic rhythm of getting ready to get there, it takes you there. It yeah. takes me <laughs> there. <laughs> I am early. I'm sorry. Yep. You yep. can't. You can't whisper in my ear. Yeah. Keep going. Nah. Yeah. Don't I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. <laughs> I'm letting it go. <laughs> you can't say I'm getting ready. Don't say shit. Just let yeah. it off. Just let it off. Just let it off. Just let it off. And I and 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 I started to understand <laughs> that that ah, uh, I'm a pleaser. Yeah. 
So I have to understand how to control myself while a woman is receiving the ultimate pleasure from me. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to find the balance yeah. in that space. Yeah. I think I think it's dope that you, and in the moment, in the midst of you figuring out yourself too, and, and fellas, take this as a note, you know, you also were establishing, you know, like what pleases the woman, right? And really listening to the woman. You know, and I think that's like a, a, a big mistake that young men make, right? Yeah. When you first get into it, it's like, it's all about me. It's all yeah. about me. I'm never yeah. listening to the woman. You know, yeah. once you well, become mature, for sure. right, and really into, begin to experience intimate moments, yeah. it's like, it's more so about the woman. How but can I please here's the, her? Here's the next level I went to. So once, I, once I'm starting to understand the science on it and, you know, still being young, mm-hmm. I had to then learn that the same key don't start at the car. Mm-hmm. Yes, everybody ain't the same now, and that's that's it's a not bar. a universal key. Yeah, not. Hey, a can you say that one more time? Can you say that? Can you say that one more time? It's not a universal key. Let me tell you something. You know, is this is, this is graphic? This is whatever. Oh, yeah, it's, it's oh, grown. Yeah, open, okay. open, 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 open form. This is general talking. You know, it's like that same that same flicker of the tongue can sometimes be directly on the cl- on the ball of the clitoris itself or sometimes it has to be outside of the hood Oof. it it varies he's taking us there y'all mm-hmm. he's taking like, us there every every it's completely different mm-hmm. and so to your point you have to listen, listen man you have to feel you have to feel it like it's like it's like some chiropractic type shit you know what i'm saying when i'm like i'm asking my doctor like how do you how did you know to crack that bone i just i can just feel it i know yeah. you got to be able to feel that but then i went into questionnaire mode because i'm a perfectionist mm-hmm. so i want to know i want to know what do you everything like? there is to know about you in that space i'm not going to get in here and guess I want to know how to please you. I'm going to ask you. Is that a, a I'm gonna say, is that a one is that a question, question. that you literally I am ask? Asking mm. a thousand mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. one questions. What makes you come? What makes you come fast? What's your what's your favorite way? To General come? speaking, are, y'all. Are, are you are you asking that prior to y'all actually being absolutely. intimate? Absolutely. Okay. So so before. Absolutely. That's part okay. of the intimacy. So you would say that's yeah. a, that's a, that's important. It's uh, important. That's something that people that more, more men should do. Is have those conversations and not just assume that the way I started this car is going to be the way I start this car, right? And I think that's really important because when we're young, we think, we've all heard this before. We know girls say this all the time. But a lot of guys say, yeah, like, I got, man, I'm going I'm, to I'm fuck the shit out of you, right? Everyone thinks, every guy thinks that they fuck the shit out of somebody, right? But they think they could all have sex the same. Right, mm-hmm. but when you become mature, you understand. Like, and this is like to really help people, help men, right? Because it's a thing that we're probably not as aware of, but it does take having those question um, conversations and, and really asking, "What do you like?" Because if we don't ask those questions, how could we know? Information is vital. It's the same reason why, why when you're at a restaurant, uh, a, a server will ask you, "Are there any dietary restrictions?" Mm. So. Just bring out the wrong thing. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Bring out something That's you're so allergic real. to and just fucking eat it and die. That's so real. Right. Information is key in everything that we do. And we can't be afraid or ashamed of wanting and needing that information. And it's like, I want to know. Why make a mistake if I don't have to? I don't have to. I don't have yeah, to. See, see and, and, it, and it sounds like, because I think it happens for everybody yeah. to where it's a point as a man that you just you just kind of you just enter it like oh, okay cool we haven't we're having sex boom 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 and then it's a point where you like maybe I should start collecting my own data yeah yeah maybe I should sit back and I should start collecting my own data he's like okay this girl like this this girl didn't like this right? right so I would ask you right just for our listeners and viewers and viewers mm-hmm. let's say we got to a point where a man and a woman they were having sex and she told him you're bad in bed and you know that's a debilitating thing you heard ooh and you felt you felt I heard it. oh god yeah you oh, heard god. and never forget it he'll never forget <laughs> it right real. you heard oh god and you're like oh she's telling me I'm bad i need to start collecting data yeah. right 
if a man, if a woman tells a man you're bad in bed, right? But it's as advice. It's not, we'll never do this again. It's advice. That's why she told him. That's why she's That's telling why she him, told him, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. What are you telling him? To, what would you tell him to be able to move forward, to move past that, to be able to change your mind? Well, I mean, you got to remove the ego. Let's start there. Facts. Straight up. Because the ego kicks in immediately, right? Facts. You got to remove any defensive mechanism that you have mm-hmm. because it goes back to what you just said, what y'all just said. If she didn't care, she wouldn't have told you. Yep. Which means she would like for you to be good at this. Mm-hmm. Because she probably, you. probably some other things are lining up for her, yep. right? Yep. And she needs this to line up as well mm-hmm. for you all to go to whatever magical place that she feels like you all can go. Mm-hmm. That's when you that's that's when you sit at your desk as a student and you study that woman. What do you like? Mm-hmm. What am I missing? I got a what question. What am I not seeing? I'm, I'm curious. Who listen, and you, this is a deep question. Who did it for you? And what did he do? Period. Mm. Who hey. a lot of men not able to have hey. that conversation. Not able to have that one. Hey, that's a real mature, not transparent conversation I, that, that, that like two individuals gotta have. So I, I wanna know. I wanna know. I'm asking it. We asking the general right now, right? Are you giving every woman that you lay with, because every woman you don't look at as being your significant other. We're talking past right? relationship. Are you looking? You, we're talking past. Definitely we're talking past. Many moves. 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 Just for reference, we're all in relationships. 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 She gets half. I want to show you this. She gets half of everything. So I wanted to ask, right? And I asked this for more so for the women, right? If you are being intimate with a woman, you're paying attention to her, you're catering to her, you're doing that because that's just how you maneuver in that space. But you don't necessarily have the intention to make this woman your woman or quote unquote an honest woman, right? A lot of women might deem that as toxic. Do you still take the same exact precautions with every woman that you used to, because we're talking in the past right now, that you used to sleep with. What you give mean, them that same exact attention, that same exact care, that same exact study of their body, the same exact study of the flick of the tongue. Let me tell you something. If you make it to the room, mm. <laughs> you getting it. All of it. That's real. Everything that come with it. Everything listen, that come with listen, it. Listen, for all intents and purposes. Toxic or not. For that hour, hour and a half, Mm-hmm. Maybe it's two. We are in a relationship. Hey, hey. my nigga is healthy. Did we just say something like that last episode. We just, we I just said this that. is how we. Whenever we you, when you were me, you, when you, you were with me, me, you better make me feel like the most special, beautiful, handsome man in the talk world. Because I'm talk gonna make it. you feel like that. Talk I'm about put it. You when you with me, I don't care. I don't care what the what the title is. Mm-mm. When you are my, when we intimate and you are my car and my passenger seat. Come on now. You and I like this. Period. That's it. We holding hands. And then we after we hold hand, fingers. We kissing on the mouth. We kissing kiss on all in the mouth. Your hot that. mouth. All that. Not playing with you. Nah, for real. And come in here play with you. Don't even look. And then, like you, like we talking about, the the romance comes before the intimacy. Mm-hmm. So as soon as I pull up on you, you gonna see what we operating with. You're not touching doors. No, nah, mm. that. You're not pulling out your card. Full Come gentleman. On. Chivalry Full exists. gentleman. Full Chivalry gentleman. is not dead nah, on this end. Full, exists. Full gentleman's work. Yeah. And it's the same exact thing when we get to the bedroom. Period. Same exact Period. thing. And I want to be, and I want to go all the way there. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to jump in the, you know, the shower. We're going to wipe it down. You know what I'm saying? We, it's we, an we, experience. Yeah. We got, we, we got the, we got the, experience. it's got to be complete. Rooted to the tutor. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, on that hey. note, on that note, we're gonna get into today's halftime show. What's the deal, y'all? I'm Omar. Welcome back to the nice and neat halftime show. Y'all know what we do here, man. We get into fun games. We got an exciting guest here. Tank the general salute to him. He's in here dropping game, dropping knowledge for all of us here. All of us here, we're learning something. But this is one of my favorite parts of the show. Dim the rules. Duke, talk to us, man. What we got? What we got? 
All right, y'all. So we talking about romance. We talking about intimacy. We talking about sex. So we're going to keep it in line. Mm. All right. So mm. here's a scenario. Uh -oh. All right. We having sex. <laughs> not not us. Not us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> not us. We got it. We, we, yeah. But um, you're having sex with a woman, right? And I mean, you're done. Mm -hmm. Simple. Who gets the towel? <laughs> Who has to get up and go get the towel to wipe? Whoever on top. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever on top gotta go get the towel. No, that's gotta be that's gotta be that's, a universal law rule. That's the wow. rule. That's the rule, man. You know what? That's you the rule. Top, you gotta go get the towel. I think it depends on who got worked. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that's good. That's Straight good. up. Listen. Because you can be on if, top and still get that work. If, if she got worked and and she is laying there debilitated. Mm -hmm. yeah. The leg shaking. Then you got to get a towel. Then you're saying you got to get a towel or she got to get a towel. If, no, no, she no, no. Is, if she has nothing left. Whoever down. Whoever yeah. down. Whoever down. The other person has to get the towel. <laughs> Yeah, for real. Because going to get the towel is almost like a victory walk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is. Yeah, it is. Hey, it's almost yeah. Hey. Got the towel for you. Yeah, hey. there you go. Yeah, yo. they wipe your hot ass down. Nigga, yeah. Hey, yo, hold That's on. How you look at yourself in that mirror, you be like, hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, did that. Hey, you know you really did it too. When you wait till the water get warm. <laughs> right. I, was just, I was just about I'm to say that. I'm not getting a cold towel. Uh-uh. I'm not giving a cold towel. towel. No. I'm a worker in this show. I care, too. I was, hey, just, I was just about to say that. And hey, come through gentle, hey, gently. Why, mm -hmm. <laughs> Got to tap certain parts, too. Mm -hmm. and, and, and why do you wet the towel? Because it's dry. It's going to get dry sticky. Up. It's, it's sticky. sticky. It's sticky. That shit rubs your skin. And sometimes when she get work, she can't hop right in the shower right afterwards. Nah. It might not be a good sign if after you finish, she just be like, all right, thanks. It hops in the shower. But, hey. <laughs> but if she, you know, if she falling asleep, you know what I'm saying? If she pass out, like, because sometimes while you're waiting for that water to get hot, yep. she may need, need a little nap. It's crazy. Yeah, you come back and it's you're like, crazy I got how the fast people go to sleep after they get work. You like, no, I got real. I got the <laughs> 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 Hey yo, so when y'all get the towel, do y'all wipe or do y'all throw it to them to wipe? No, you no, gotta no, wipe. No, 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 you no, gotta no, wipe. You don't throw it. You gotta wipe. You gotta wipe. You gotta so wipe. Like, yeah. like fellas, don't unless, throw unless it. You unless that, you say I got it, baby. What's that, uh, Mr. Miyagi? Wax on, wax off. You got wax on, wax off. Well, uh, and you got more, no, like, no, 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 no. Like air, air, you got You got to block that shit. Top. Block you got to block that top shit. To bottom, mm. Top to the bottom. Top to the bottom. Wipe down. Root it to the two. Wow. You don't that's wipe up. That's how we got here. You got to wipe, wipe down. Wipe mm -hmm. down. Wow, that's the coaching point. Yeah. yeah. Wipe down. Wipe down. Fellas, so, fellas. so we got whoever got worked. Get, get relax. 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 They get to relax, yeah, 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 right? The person who did the working gets the towel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Warm towel. Warm, warm towel. towel. Gotta warm be towel. a warm towel. Gotta be warm towel. If you get a cold towel, first of all, you, you don't dirty. Even care about you get a warm towel, you dirty. You're an asshole. Yeah, you're, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. Yeah, you didn't even wait for the water to get warm. Nah, you just don't give a <laughs> Yeah. You just, you just don't give a <laughs> Right? <laughs> don't give a <laughs> And be and then and then, you know, you gotta be gentle. Like, fellas, don't be like, don't rough. just be rough nah. with it. Cause obviously she it's tender. Yeah, you yeah, know, y'all yeah. just finish. You just beat it up. Yeah, Blot. come on. You beat it up. Take your time. Take your time. Towel as rough as it take is. Matter of fact, matter of fact, take the warm towel, place it. First. Place Oof. it. Mm. And then, cause Oof. It, place it first. R and B it. shit. And then, yeah. and then, and then you got to top down. And then, yeah. and then <laughs> you top. Hey, look, down. look, look. Keep in mind. And everybody gets this preferential treatment. Yo, hey, ho. Dim, Dim the, the rules. rules. <laughs> 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 All right, you know what, y'all? You know what, y'all? I think that concludes this week's halftime show. That was great. It was amazing. Man. We'll get to the second half. The only way we know how. This so was some positive energy, some positive vibrations, and a smile, of course, in the second half. Let's go. Look, look see, first half, we, we'll get back to that. We were talking about, you know, sex, love, pain. All we're talking things. about all of the things, yeah. right? Hello. I have to ask you because I know as they look and these cameras are HD, but this is really the way that your skin looks every <laughs> single day. <laughs> <thing. laughs> right? I want I want to ask you how what, what are you doing to keep up with this regimen? I feel like it's crazy that you're not you're not I don't know. Talk about your skin more, cause your skin is crazy. It's not, you know you're not 19 years old out here either. Like, and skin looking good. Skin looking good, brother. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I drink a lot of water. 
Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll say that for sure. Um, my wife is an advocate for skin. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She has a line. A good woman would do that beauty. for you. No, she, but watching her. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I developed habits by watching her. Same. Go, you know, go through her process. I'm like, oh, that's a real process. So it made me not just wash my face with soap. It made me go get a facial cleanser. Mm. You and know, a, from, and exfoliate. And exfoliate. Yep. And, and it made me, started. it yep. made me that's look for moisturizers to that that worked well with my skin. Right yep. now, I'm using butter skin. Mm. Ador, my guy Dorian. He's okay. got a line called Butter Skin that is. Fire. Shout out to mm. Dorian the butter. And skin. my wife has the exfoliating mittens, and she has the 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 rollers and the, the rollers for like the wrinkles, things. all that, all that for the wrinkles. I'm doing all of that, and you're so right because I've never in my life thought I'd be spending sixty dollars on skincare products, but I'm every other every other month or every Investing. month I'm mm-hmm. going in and like okay now nah, that's cheap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, now, you know, now, now you know. Now you know that don't work for. for my skin. Yeah, yeah. You know, but that works. You, that costs sixty dollars. Got us, got us out here actually using the products that you dab one time and swipe. Come on, mm-hmm. bro. I it's never, like a, it's a, it's yeah. the pressure moisturizer. It's called so you, Drunk it, Elephant. It, it, they didn't pay they didn't pay it for that, but it is called Drunk Elephant. Mm. But yeah, we'll take a deal though. We, we'll take we'll take something. We'll take a deal. On, we'll, about, ta- we'll take something though. If you're a skincare brand, holla, holla, holla. You know what other part is too. It's it's what it, it's it goes into what you put in your body as well, Facts. Mm. right? So what you put in your body will exude through the pores. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I drink a little bit, but you know I don't I don't smoke. I don't you know I don't do cocaine yeah. and all that sh- crack rock. I don't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of that stuff helps with the preservation. You know what I'm saying? I'm 45, and you Word. know I've seen I see I've seen a lot of 40 year olds. You know what I'm saying? Who looking, look like they've down. seen the worst of life, looking down. and it's just their 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 the regimen of what they're putting into their bodies is showing on the outside. Yeah, ain't no exfoliation gonna get rid of that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful in that space. Would you too. say Would you say stress plays any part? Hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm the glasses half full guy. Mm. So it there's always like a it. smile on my face. Yeah, you know like what I'm saying? It. So the most I'm gonna get is some laugh lines right here mm-hmm. and right in here. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like that's. That's as far as it'll go for me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But that stress, it'll bring your face down. Mm-hmm. So it's um, it's clear you've been putting the, the right things into your body, right? And I, I see this. I see you hashtag it all the time. You got the hat on right now, right? It's obviously uh, partly because of this R&B money, Talk about right? It. Talk about but it. Where did, where did this R&B money slogan come from? Like, where did you come up with that at? And what does it mean to you? Because I, when, I, when I see it, I'm just like, Oh, my dog out here repping his shit. He yeah. talking his shit. Mm-hmm. I got R and B money, yeah. but I don't know if there's a hidden message behind it. There are any subliminals? What is it? It's so much bigger than me, right? And for a long time, the business would make you believe that what we do is not profitable because it's so expensive to do. See, that's what happened to R and B, like. Once they once they bought the first rap beat for ten thousand, and signed the first rapper for twenty, and made a hundred million, changed the game. Mm-hmm. Can't make R and B music like that. You had musicians, you had the string guys, you had mm. horn guys, you had the drummer, you had the bass guy, you had background vocals, and then the lead, and then the outfit. It's expensive. Mm-hmm. But the results were expensive too. It was timeless. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Luther and mm. and, and Guy and mm-hmm. and Keith Sweat and mm-hmm. to this day, still mm-hmm. arenas. And we lost our way when record companies were long, no longer no longer driven by music people. They were driven by lawyers and people who had other companies but just decided to buy a record company to have fun and the only thing that mattered was the bottom line Mm. the art didn't matter the love of 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 what we do didn't matter didn't matter we're spending on an r&b artist five hundred thousand to a million before we get out the gate we only spent a hundred thousand on a rapper we're in the wrong business and that's how we started losing our way in the mainstream. But we weren't lost completely. 
Mm. You just didn't see us in that space. Mm. Yeah. I've been doing shows for 21 years. Still. Sold out. Mm. And when it came time for me to name my record company, I was like, I want to name it something that speaks to anybody who wants a career in what we're doing and to the people who do have careers in what we're doing. I want to speak for everybody. This R&B money is real. It's real. It's real. Indeed. Like we make expensive music that yields a profit. Lucrative return. Lucrative return. And Lucrative stands return. the test of time too. I am a black artist. Talk about it. I stay in the black. Week one, I'm in the black. I don't live in the red. Mm. At Atlantic Records, they know me. If we're not doing deals like Tank, we're not doing them. Black, first week out. Black, I don't owe nobody anything, and I own. Mm. Mm. You said over 20 years, right? Longevity. Longevity. Yes, sir. And recently... You just made known that you're going deaf in your left ear. Right. In your right yeah. ear, mm -hmm. excuse me. And your left ear is beginning to get affected, infect, uh, affected by that too mm -hmm. as well now. How is that for your music career? And how long do you feel like you have left within your music career facing that? Well, you know, it coming out of the blue was just like, it happened over three days. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you know, hearing is three days. Everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm shooting a movie. Not even you know, listening to loud music. None of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm shooting a movie. I'm doing something completely different. And I walk out of Equinox after getting my, you know, getting getting my getting my buff on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm I start walking and I start walking sideways. I almost fall the Balance. hell over. I'm like, what the fuck? All the cars going by start. It sounds like sounds like it's 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 uh it's just breaking up it's crackling it's distorted everything in this ear i'm like what the fuck is that hmm. by day three i had to go to the hospital i had to go to that go see an ent emergency mm -hmm. and the vertigo was so bad i could barely stand mm -hmm. and this ear was going and this ear was trying to go so just to give you an update this ear is back picked up the slack said i got you i, I got okay. you amen thank, thank god. god and this ear said give me a minute you know what <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. and it's nerve damage man it's yeah. sudden sense renewal hearing loss and they don't know how it happens um they have ways that they try to treat it that aren't foolproof i was on some really bad medication prednisone um really bad steroid damage was was doing more damage to me than it was good i was getting injections steroid injections into my um, eardrum, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the product that was going into hyperbaric chambers, like it was, yeah, doing whatever you it, can, whatever yeah, I yeah. could. I, I, as athletes, we understand, yeah, that. yeah. You, you know, Absolutely. whatever I could. I'm, I'm getting cranial facial release, they're blowing up balloons inside of my, inside of my like mm -hmm. the whole thing. So, yeah. you know, that was more of it than anything because, like, I'm an athlete first, mm -hmm. I'm a competitor first. So in my mind, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna beat it one way or another. Yeah. But the medicine wouldn't let me. Mm. The medicine was taking all of my cortisol. It was taking everything, and I was just sitting there. And I don't eat, you know, I don't eat a lot of food naturally. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I eat, you know, I eat very small portions. I was eating from sun up to sundown. Mm. You tell you saw me at the wedding. I was I was mm. I was a fat boy for the first time in my life. Damn. Like these niggas, they was at the pool with their shirts off, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, go ahead, man. Y'all cool. Y'all sure look good, man. Yo. Hey, that's when you start saying, Y'all young. Y'all hey. young, man. The youth. It's 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 the youth. You know, hey, yo, and, uh, and, and I was like, I was embarrassed. Yeah. It's the first time I, I walked past the mirror and look at myself. I'm like, I don't recognize myself. Yeah. yeah. And that's a great, like, seeing yourself and seeing yourself look how you want to look is a definite a confidence booster. It, it, well, I mean, not, if we're not used to it's, it, it's not, it's what I'm used to. Yeah, it's what we're used to. I'm used, right. to, we used, I'm to, used being, to. We're used to being desirable and sexy. Yep. I'm used to being able to peel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm and on stage how, and I can't yeah. peel. Mm -hmm. I got to go buy new show clothes because yeah. I can't fit my old ones. Mm -hmm. 
That's girls is like they screaming, do. take it off. And I'm like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> That's not what we're going to do. Next time. And they like, I've built a brand, you know. Of, of being a sex icon. Of being really, like, that sex guy. Symbol. A sex symbol. Yep. Your, like, your, right? your name is Tank. They, yeah, you're Tank. Tank. Yeah. When they come to a show, there's certain songs they want to see. Mm-hmm. I mean, here. But they want to see these titties. <laughs> not these titties. They these for titties. show. <laughs> want to see these titties. They want to see that left, right, left, I, right. Th- listen, <laughs> and I had to get over that because, you know what I'm saying, I'm a, mu- I'm a music guy. Like, I'm, I, I come to give you my music, my art. Take off your motherfucking shirt. You got the shirt, past, nigga. though. It, it, R&B singer, you got the past. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I want to yeah. sh- give them my art, and they just want me to take off my clothes. Yeah. yeah. And so I had to say, you know what? Get Fine. to them. You got a Hollywood Hogan yeah. one shirt every concert. I got, I, listen, every concert, hey. got to get it off me. <laughs> yeah. I got what you need, and so I, I, I said, this is what I have to be, and and to be in a space where I couldn't provide yeah. that for as long as it was, I was sick, bro. Yeah, sick. But you know, you know, I, I just believe that the creator just has an amazing way of just challenging us and. And seeing what we're made of, and seeing what our faith is made of, and, and seeing what our fight is made of, and this one ear is gonna take me all the way if this is all I have left. Yeah. It I, is what it I, is. So I, let me ask a question. Okay. So, so um, married. Yes. Right. How long you been married? Almost three years. Yeah. And how long have y'all been dating? Or it's dating she, before I've known y'all got her married? For twenty one years. Twenty one years. She danced in my first video. Okay, so let yeah. me ask you: When was the first time you had sex with her? <laughs> That's where we're going. That's where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're going. Hi. Hey. We're back, we're back hey, we back, back. Hey, we back. We back. We back. He's back. Yeah, yeah. So when was the when was the first time, if you can recall, mm. that you had sex with your wife? Wow. Um I I don't remember the first time. Um, um I do remember we we probably weren't supposed to be. Because um, you've been with her, I mean, you've it. known her for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, just even going back to when I first saw her, like, you know, coming from D.C. and all of that and, you know what I'm saying, walking into the the rehearsal room, I had my guy Roro pick all the dancers. Like, I need 10 dancers and, and we're going to do it elaborate. I've spent like 500000 on the video. We're doing 10 rehearsals. I'm in there like, and I walk in and I see this girl and I'm like, Jesus mm. Christ, what is that? Who hmm. is that? No, no, no what? 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 That special? What? What? Yeah. That, that ain't, that no ain't human. Yeah, uh-uh. that ain't no. Who you, who I ain't never ain't. seen that before. Yeah, that ain't regular. What's that? That's different. And you know, where I'm from, it's a little tougher. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, where I'm from, you know, you your approach game gotta be. It's gotta be. Proper. It's gotta be proper. Mm-hmm. Or, or a woman is like. Good luck, man. Come on, man. Yeah. What a weak game. You know what I'm saying? And so it was crazy. Like the first time I said hi to her, and she was like, Hi, it's so good okay. to meet you. And I was like, You're strange. <laughs> why are you greeting me like this? Why are you so receptive to my energy? Like, why? What is this that you're get? completely different than mm-hmm. anything, you know, I'd experienced? And I was like, I was like, I I really like I I like her. I like her. I need to be with her in some sort of way, shape, or form. And um, and we ended up, you know, at some point, you know, we were just friends for a second, and then we just kind of ended up, you know, coming over and having a few beverages. And mm-hmm. They go that and beverage he, word. You know, that beverage that word is a strong word. word. So, and getting into that place, and I was like, this is different. Mm-hmm. And what year was this, you know? You remember? Yeah. Uh, this is about... When we shoot the video. I don't know if y'all can hear the smile on his face. Right <laughs> <laughs> y'all taking that trip down hey, memory lane, hey, boy. That shit zooming <laughs> us. I think we shot the video in, I think we shot the video, what, in 2000? And yeah, we had relations in 2000. Okay, mm-hmm. so yeah. over, let's just say 20 years, mm-hmm. right? So this, this is your wife now. Yes, my wife. Right, so I think this is an important question. Um, how do you maintain the sexual spark mm. with your wife, That's right? A great question. And also, how do you make every experience with your wife sexually feel like a new one? Great questions. Here's what's great about 
my wife for me. She does it for me. Mm. Period. Period. That's hard. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times we get into relationships and even marriages with a person that we probably have good sex with. She ain't top three, though. Mm. She ain't top two. She mm. ain't number one. The girl you're sliding with, that's that's probably number one. Mm -hmm. Or you, that's, you know, she that's probably number two. It's very rare that the woman you love the and woman marry you love is and number marry. one. Why is that? I don't know. Why do men settle for I women that don't because I think Is that I, settling though? Yes. What do you mean? Settling for it, a woman it, that's not number one sexually, but number one in sex all is other such places? a key component. No, no, to a but that's what he's saying. That's what he said. Because because all of those other things are important as well. Kind of help make up the difference. And you feel like do they? Sustain, do but, they? But, do but they? But do they? Is a great listen, question. But do they? So listen, what we're saying is she's not bad sexually. She's just not number one. She, no, 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 she, no, 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 no. She we might not, not be. Top top, she might not even we be top five. Not, if she's not top five, that's a problem. You settling? That's, problem. that's not true though, because you know men, especially a certain type of men, got a, a bevy. The rap sheet is long. Sure. So so like top sure. top five top five out of, I'm not even gonna put a number on it but top five top ten out of a certain number is still I, in no, the ninety percent but nigga. but 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 I'm saying though I'm saying what what he's saying though is your wife is it for her she, for him, listen right does it for me does I've it. I've been in relationships where shoot we might want to get a crack in the night all right let me. Stop at a store and grab a little blue pill. Grab a little pill or something. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's be, not the position yeah. you so want to be. Be all in. the way. I need all the way where I need to be. That's not where you want to be. Now that's so I, real. I'm, I'm and tell. I'm not. I'm not. That my blood flows amazingly. Yep. Never had that issue. Never had. And, that I, issue. and I'm gonna tell you something that was that you said that the general said that was extremely important from the beginning. He said, "What's that?" Mm -hmm. I feel the same way with my woman. Mm -hmm. I've looked at her. I said, what's that? What Not that? who's that? I said, what's that? I need that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that energy is what carries on, carries on. every single mm -hmm. day. Like, you know, like when you was young, when you was a kid and you was excited to have sex every yeah. single time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like you could blow through those orgasms. Like you on, blow right. through them. Like get it, get them two, three, four. Mm -hmm. You just getting them. When you with that right person right. and you... Same energy. Same, listen, my, I, I didn't even I'm, know I could get it up again. Yeah. I didn't even, listen, same bro, energy. I was on the treadmill the other day doing cardio. You know, when I do my cardio, I throw on compression suit, waist trainer, uh, uh, sweat, sauna, sauna suit, suit, sauna suit. Uh, sweat suit, <sighs> snow coat, and I get on that incline and I get to it. Mm -hmm. Wife hit me and say, are you doing cardio yet? I said, yeah, absolutely. She's like, Wow, I was just I was just thinking about having you know some morning say I'll be right up. <laughs> I'll be right here. Hey, I'll be right there. Take this off right now. Be right up. Let me hop in the shower real quick. It's finished need, anyway. Yeah. Being wipe, done. Let me wipe this down. Being done. Let me wipe this Being down. Hey, let me wipe this, let me wipe this down. To your point though, you said that you asked questions like why do guys always settle, right? But just imagine, imagine the woman that you've had sex with that she's number one. Mm -hmm. Right, but she ain't got nothing else. Mm -hmm. That's number that she's number one in. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna settle with her. No, no, I'm not saying that. No, no, that's it. Yeah, right. I'm not right. saying not that gonna, though. You're, she's like that's she has I'm, no chance. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if why you don't, it, why if you don't believe her, if you don't hold her in a high <laughs> like uh, position in terms of okay, set, you're yes. settling. And, okay, and, and it's hard to find that package. It's hard to find that package for sure of you know of that checklist where. Sex is in the top. Yeah, of, I of would that argue. Category. I would argue that men don't settle for women that can't do it from sexually. I'm not saying do it for. That's more so a woman I'm, thing. I'm, I'm to settle. Yeah, to yes. settle. To settle. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. trying to say. Yeah. 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 I, I just think it. We just we just have this thing where we just I don't know I don't want to say the word settle but <laughs> in that area. You're a little complacent. Sometimes we settle. And sometimes <laughs> and sometimes that makes you go looking. 
Mm. And, and that's what I was getting to. Like, if you if you are deciding to be with a woman for the rest of your life that you don't consider in your top five, top three, you're going to step. And, and, and you're going to step, fam. You and Duke, you're going to step, fam. I, mm. Like we were talking about in the first half of the episode, that intimacy takes that sex to a whole nother level. Like when you have sex with somebody who you know sees you and you see them and you know what's going on with them and they know what's going on with you and you lay with them, yeah. that's a totally different yeah. feeling. It's a totally different experience. And it may not be the most wild sex that you ever had or the craziest sex that you ever had, but you have a connection with this person that you haven't had with anybody I'm, I'm else. I'm so happy you said that because let me tell you something. I've had some wild sex, mm -hmm. some good wild sex, right? Me and my wife in missionary. It's crazy. Oh my I gotta say thing, say the same thing about me and my fiance. Wow. It's crazy. Well, I, I, <laughs> we <laughs> crazy boy. Oh, hey, ain't nothing like that eye to eye. Oh, ain't nothing oh, like that eye to eye. Well, Trump all hey. of it. Yeah, <laughs> Trump. Man. Shit, that shit do it for me, boy. Hey, 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 man, ain't nothing like that missionary position, yeah. boy. I, I really love that. You say, if you got is a that, is that your... missionary with your significant other, <sighs> all right, okay, hard to beat. What's your go to position? Come on now, he can't. Yeah. Uh, come on now, come on now. No, 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 okay, let's talk because. Cause you know, you know, wifey get up there and she handle business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 skip. Yeah, yeah, skip. Yeah, skip. Yeah, skip. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, 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 she she's not missing in any position. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, she not. Missing. What's your go-to? She on, she on top doing her thing. Yeah. I used to be. I used to be. I used to be the um, the oblique side angle with the <laughs> used to be the with the ninety degree over. Hey, hey, listen, with the wrap with the around. Listen, degree, I used to be that, but I was selfish because I wanted control. Mm. Right? Let me let my that's leg go. That's a whole nother thing, right? right? Submission. Yeah. That's that, but wow. that's because that's because I wanted to be in control of the rhythm and everything, right? But with Chanel, our best moments, nigga. Is when she when I when we could work together, but she's on top. I mean, that's real shit though. With and the I relationship. feel like, and I feel like, I, obviously, everyone's different. But I feel like when a woman's on top, she gets to really experience it how she wants to, mm -hmm. right? And she because it's like one of the few moments where she gets to control, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. the situation, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. So she's hitting all her spots because she's making sure she gets to all her spots. Mm -hmm. She can't make sure you could be the best. Sex guy in the world, Pleaser. but mm -hmm. you're gonna be missing some spots because you're the one in control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't miss no spots when I'm in control. My spots for your spots, yeah, for your no, spots, no, 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 yep. no, no. for my spots. When I'm in control, when I'm on top, I'm going for her spots. Ooh. That's what I'm saying, I, right? I know I her put spots. myself in position. Got enough data. Right. To got nail. enough data. data. Got, got enough, enough data. data to nail. I like her. that. Got <laughs> enough data. And then when she gets on top, I'm excited. It excites mm. me mm. that she's getting to her right. spots mm -hmm. on her. I was own. always, always, always of the mindset that I couldn't get mine off the way I wanted to when she when was on top. Oh, okay, okay. I yeah, was yeah. always of that mindset. Right, right, right. But with her, it's just like, yo, it's a completely different experience because I'm looking at her like she going crazy. She going to get to it. Yeah. But that's, I'm think, looking like she going crazy. <laughs> going, <laughs> going, going crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? She going crazy. And I'm like, oh, damn. Next thing you know, I'm thinking, oh, she really she really took this out of me. She went and got the towel for you. I, I'm like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like this. <laughs> Yeah, nigga need a sandwich. Shit. Oh, like, yeah. 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 Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm sensitive. Don't touch me. I'm sensitive. Nah, but yeah, I think for, you know, it changed. You know, I think it changed, man. I think it's just what with us, for me now, like before her, I, no. 
for now, absolutely. I mean, we talk about it all the time on the show. That's that's part of being vulnerable with your partner. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way that you could become submissive yeah. is if you're able and, and willing to be vulnerable. That's right. You know? Yeah. But, you know, that's that's only if you guys are able to be intimate yeah. in, in all levels. So, yeah, yeah I, I'm. I'm thankful that I had my old God moment. <laughs> I had my old God moment when I was in eighth grade. I wasn't having sex, so I don't want to say that. She gave you a little Jackie? Nah, I was actually fishing with my pops. Mm. I was fishing with my pops. Mm -hmm. And I remember it was just so random. We've never talked about sex. We didn't even talk about sex after that, but it was random. We fishing for bluegill and bass. Bluegill and, and my, bass. And my pops tells me, I just want you to know when you start having sex, it's for the woman and it's not for you. And that was the only thing he ever told me about sex in my entire life. Shalom's dad is a God-fearing man. He's a preacher, by the way. And that was wow. the only thing he's ever told me about sex. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a PK, so. I'm, I'm in your world. When, when he said that, I was like, mm, okay. So from the beginning, when I started having sex, it was never, like, I, in my, it was already embedded in my head that, okay, we have to figure out her likes and her body in order for us to enjoy this because Pops already told me this wow. is for her. I, mm. I needed that information. You know, and I'm I'm just I'm I'm thankful that I didn't get the old God actually. You know, I but, mean I needed we the, all I needed need the an old God, God moment. I needed, we all need needed an old it. God moment because as men, like you said, that ego creeps in and it's yeah. like, oh, I'm that dude. Like Duke said, I'm a the shit out of you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. Boy, Knowing that that's relative. That's relative. That's relative. Right. That's, relative. that's a subjective relative. thing. Not to mention, it's very easy to fake orgasms as a woman. Oof. Mm. That hurts. Let's get it. Oof. Let's get it. Not Vegas. to mention. Not to mention, it's probably very easy to for fake orgasms. So a lot of times, the I'm gonna f the shit out of you is predicated on something that's not even real. Oof. Period. Mm. Period. It's predicated on How do we know some some real? a pretender. What do you mean? How do you know? How right. We, well, how do the listeners? I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> how do the listeners you and know? the viewers know that it's real? Right. Like you can't. You can fake an orgasm, right? But you can't. You, it's hard to like your body language. How does a man fake an orgasm? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, it's, it's on the bed somewhere. Hey, hey, oh, it's there. Oh, oh, it's there. Where it went. Got it all in my hand. Got to throw it away real quick. If you didn't know. Men fake orgasms as well. I, Absolutely. I, I, got, I have to ask. I have to ask the general. Have you ever faked an orgasm before? <laughs> <laughs> this big ass smile on his face. <laughs> yeah, I have. Because I had like two stops to make. Ooh. Ooh. So. Baby, I ain't going to be here long. You know. So you it's a know, good time, not a long time. Had a couple stops to make, you know what I'm saying. So I, I at that at that time I had mastered, you know, being able to get a couple, you know, two or three done. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. I was like, I got, I got one. Straight up. Once, 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 once I empty this chamber, it's oh, a wrap I'm going to for sleep. everybody. Sleep. <laughs> night, 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 night. I'm going night night. That's, that's so that I was like, rap. I'm gonna have to hold this one, you know what I'm saying, to my next stop. You know, I, I, that, that was that was a busy night for me. So that's the, yeah, I, I faked it. Yeah. How did you fake it? Huh? 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 <laughs> That's what the nigga I don't want to tell you. Yeah. No, it's like it, it's like you. It's it's the motion. It's it's all the activity of it. Yep. But it you know it, and it's in the hand. You it's cuffed a, it. I'm holding it. I'm cuffed it. You get to the bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> flush it. <laughs> yeah, I flushed it. Yeah, yeah. Wiped it. Yeah, yeah. Thing still hard. Yeah. Loki, gotta get it off. Yo, you must you must be ready to go again. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. No. He no. just is resi residual <laughs> hardness. Go. Residual go. hardness. I gotta get out. I got to get out of here, though. You know what I'm saying? It's good to see you. You save it for that next one. Hey, I, I got to ask this question, right? And we're talking about sex, right, and understanding ourselves sexually, right? Do you think that masturbation teaches us how to control our orgasm when we're having sex with the, our woman? No. It's, it's a, a good question. It's a great question. It's a completely different yeah. experience. You in some wet, yeah. warm, totally different experience. It's a complete. It doesn't. You, you can do all the panhandling you want to. All of it. Mm -hmm. When you when you get into that real Lucy, right? Come on, Lucy. When that and that, that Lucy got a different stroke to it. <laughs> yeah. Like, so you know what so I'm saying? Do you, okay. You can does, anticipate does your hand movements. Teaches anything about the, the strokes that we like to feel from our woman. Here's what maybe a masturbation can help you with 
depending on Stamina. if you're using it as a visual aid, if you're using visual aids. Masturbation in terms of using visual aids will help you identify what you're really into. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because there are categories of, of sexual activity. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so in masturbation, you can figure out what things get you to that place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot faster than others. You got to be yeah. there to collect data, not just there to <laughs> get activity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, collect data is a collect thing. Data. Like, <laughs> collecting <laughs> data is a real thing. That's for and sure. whatever you do. Collect that data. It's the, the, like the most important thing. <laughs> collect data. Just like, wait, but when we, were off, when we were off air for a little bit, we were talking about just like even social media mm -hmm. and the, the way that you click certain things and it shows you what you like. So... It's collecting data on collecting you. Data so data, on data you. is right. the most important thing yeah. that we have in life. But I also feel, let me, let me, let me keep that thought. I think that in reverse, right? And I, and I, and I say this to, I, I used to say this to women. I was like, if you don't masturbate, we're not in the same place mm. sexually. We're not dialed into the same place. You know what I'm saying? Because you probably don't even know Mm -hmm. to tell me where to go mm. because you're not in touch with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that 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 that's weird to me. Like I can t I can tell you what, how to how to grab Straight it, how up. to you know, Straight get it. I, I can I can tell you from experience yeah. mm -hmm. cuz I know. Mm -hmm. But you're like you don't you don't you don't touch yourself at all. Like so what do you what do you do? How do you figure yourself out? How do you figure yourself out? Don't wait on me, baby. And how can you tell me? How can you tell me? Where how can you instruct me where to go so we just all guessing in this motherfucker? Yeah. I need some direction. I if, I, if, I, if we ever have the conversation that we don't have for some reason, how do I please you? You won't even be able to tell me how to do it because you don't even know how to please, please yourself. yourself. I, 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 I believe in that wholeheartedly. Okay, you go know, back. I'm sorry. Go I was speaking to collecting data. Mm -hmm. um, Duke asked a question about masturbation, mm -hmm. right? One thing I will say about masturbation is as you're collecting data, right? You do understand how to hold your release. Because if you're just one of those guys that's just like, man, I'm just trying to get it in and get it out, right? As you are playing the game with yourself, you learn how to, okay, cool, that's where the tip is. All right, for sure, I can stop it right here. Bad. Or I better back off. I better back off of it. I better back off. I better back off. I better back off. Right? And it, now I will say in relation to sex, that is the same feeling to where you just like, just like how, okay. It's going to keep you in the game. It's going to keep you in the game. Matter of fact, let's go back to, let's go back to when you were 18. I don't agree. Look, let's go back to when you were 18, right? <laughs> you said five strokes, right? If you would have did four strokes, you would have felt the throbbing, throbbing, throbbing. Throb, yeah. throb, throb. And you'd have been like, I, hold I, up. <laughs> hold no, up. No, no, no. At that, at that point, at 18, I, I was a serial masturbator. I was, I was already there. But mm. were you collecting but, data? I don't know what matter. I was collecting. Man. I, you know what I'm saying? Because you was unintentionally, you was unintentionally aimlessly, aimlessly masturbating. Yeah. I didn't have you a cause. You got to masturbate for a reason. I didn't like, have okay. a vision. Hold on now. I didn't have, I didn't have a goal. What's, What's the cause? cause? What's the cause? I didn't have a cause. What's the cause? Hey, I got to know my stroke number. Yeah, uh, no. Because here's what happens. Yeah. Bro, bro, here's what happens. Because what you can also do is like, like giving, giving, giving yourself so much of the pleasure. Like you can desensitize yourself to you know, to a woman giving you pleasure. Mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So there's there's sure. there's that that imbalance as well, but yeah. it's two completely different experiences, yeah. experiences. Like me going to myself for one is is looking to get something different than me going to my wife to there's get There's no one. intimacy right there with just it, right? it, mm, no. it, it's two different things. Mm -hmm. Point A to point B. Point a to yeah. B. yeah. Completely yeah. different. I ain't trying to work the alphabet. Yeah. And so like when when you get into the ex like <laughs> The like I feel like the, the the there's the act of masturbating and then there's the experience of having sex. It's two yeah. completely different. Real, yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I typically feel pretty disgusting after I finish, and I I try yeah. to I try to shy away from the mirror. Yo, I was gonna say that. <laughs> hey, like, it's funny because it, it is kind of something that everyone has dabbled in. But why is it so disgustly? Why why is it viewed as such a disgusting act when it's actually something that people think? Is a necessity to know yourself. Well, so I think society puts this, this dim light on it, you know, and make it seem like, and part of that could be come from like religious like standpoints, perspectives, and stuff, stuff like yeah. that. But yeah, I mean, man, listen, let me tell you I something. I think it's important to know yourself. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm on the road, 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of oh, that, there's that's a lot a of great point. Desired activity. No, that's real. There's a lot of things I being thrown my off. way. Listen, I have to point. unload this gun. Because the, the, the wrong person, for the wrong person gets shot. Because the second you unload it, the second you unload it, you're you're good. Good. I don't need no combat. Good. I don't need no combat. Don't talk to me. That's important. I think that's that's a really important note that you just made. Like, um, we talk about. You know how how to, how to handle certain relationships and like no one ever talks about that as far like really detailed right people always say yo right. to not cheat on your w- woman or cheat on your girl you just gotta be faithful I but think how that's a, how mm-hmm. what are, what are like what are the steps some tools hey yeah. when you're on the road as an R and B singer here's yep. something you could do yep empty. Empty, empty the, the gun. Tank. Well, how, <laughs> empty well, the, most men we don't really talk about that we don't it's, talk about we don't really it. talk about that because it's viewed as disgusting or perverted yep. right and we don't even talk about sex or, among or, each other or if, or if guys having that conversation it's like man why are you talking, this, talking all this weird shit nigga like, exactly go hear right. something like, like exactly. nah this, we talking as grown men having a grown man like, right. they don't understand that that's part of the grown man conversation right, part, right, of right. I, I, part of maturity I also, I also think it's because you know and this is unfortunate I think within our within men cheating is okay like it's promoted and it's cool so it's like oh no, it's definitely cool. It's it's, it's in like, our music. It's, like, it's in our yeah. It's it's, it's, in, it's in our music. The, the, it's in the everything. man gets rewarded. So there's, there's really for no all urgency the to correct it. No, you said what? There's no urgency to correct. Nah, it. Nah, so like, why would you be doing, bro? If you could get off with a chick, why are you getting off by yourself? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's saying, nigga, just go to your room. Like nah. yeah. I learned from an OG. Mm. You know what I'm saying, bro, brother? Window guy, bless his soul. Like it ain't all worth it. Yeah. Like in the beginning of my career. Brother Window was 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 way older. Than me. He was Muslim. Um, had I mean, you know, he had done the streets. You know what I'm saying? If he had he had sold it, used it, mm-hmm. robbed it, mm-hmm. I wouldn't inc- I wouldn't inc- inc- incriminate anything else. But he was a real gangster, mm-hmm. and he taught me the game. Like when I was on the road, I was the star, but I was in school. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like I'd be like, yeah, we about to run to this club. He say, no, we not. What they doing over there? I already know what they doing over there. I know the dude that's doing the such and such. They running a the play like this. What we gonna do is we gonna grab two or three of them right there. We are gonna go back to the room. We got some liquor. We gonna have our own party. Something we can control. Mm-hmm. Mm. You understand okay. that? Yeah. That's how I learn. Learn the game from the OGs. You know so, what I'm saying? Something we could control. Something we could control. It's important. Something, and so we would have those conversations. Like mm-hmm. that was a man conversation. Don't do yeah. that. Go to your room. Take care of yourself. You don't need that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't need that. No, you don't need that. I saw where she was just going. I saw her just talking to such just to the dude. They're gonna set you up. Go into your room. Mm. It seems like there's been a disconnect between the OGs yes. and the. Whatever you want to call YGs, yeah. YGs, and yeah. everybody else under, yeah. underneath that. There, there's a. We're at a point in our in our culture in, in today's world in in our urban society where the YGs now really looking to the OGs for that type of game, that type of guidance, or either the OGs not giving it. Maybe well, because they don't feel like the YGs is, is able to receive or, or ready to know, receive don't it. Don't know how to give it. Mm. Right, because you know. Giving game is a slippery slope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all in how it's delivered and all in how it's received, right? It, 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 it's, it's two parts to it. So you got to be able to meet a youngster where he is in order to really have that conversation. Yep. And if you ain't active, your conversation ain't, ain't going to make no sense. It ain't going to sound right to mm-hmm. him. They know what you're talking about. Like, oh, hey, what you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, when the floozies come through, you know what I'm <laughs> and they, uh, you know, they hike the skirts up, you know, like, what, like, what, what? are you talking about? Yeah. Man? You know, like, for me, since the OGs gave me the game, my, 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 my goal was always to stay connected to the younger generation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To always be able to tap in, you know what I'm saying? And be like, you know, CB, what you on? You good? All right. Mm. Let's, let's, you know, let's talk about this with Trey. Now, you all right? You know what I'm saying? Or any of these guys to be able to, have that conversation. If you need me, I'm here, man. Just mm-hmm. holler at me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like whatever you need to make myself available. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And 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 give them a place to go versus beating them down with how much I know and how much I've done and 
and and why they need to look to me. Like, no, I'm available to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's how we have to offer that information yeah. versus little nigga, you don't know shit, nigga. Yeah. Facts. You ain't nobody, right. nigga. Like these young niggas is getting money now. Yep. They get real money. Mm -hmm. So their validation at an early age is completely different mm -hmm. than what we had. You know what I'm saying? You got an 18-year-old with $50 million? Yep. How are you going to talk to him? You better talk to him with world. some respect. With some respect. Now that's real. Or something he could grasp. You better talk to him with some yeah, respect. First. 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 Before you start coming over here trying to kick game. Yeah. Before you start kicking knowledge. You can't trying to kick knowledge. Kick knowledge. Acknowledge what he's done. Nigga, order me. First. Oh, that's real. And so, and so it's it's the court. It is the disconnect, but I think the disconnect is in you know. I'm, I'll, I'll put it on the OGs in understanding how to have the new conversations. Because yeah. well, it's a new conversation. I'll tell you this, man. Jalan said it earlier, man. You, not only are you a legend, you know, to us, but you also an OG, man. And I Facts. definitely thank Facts. you and appreciate Absolutely. you for coming oh, through. Kicking game, yes, dropping Hell jewels, yeah. bro, yes, sir. and just sharing like a wealth of knowledge, man. Yeah, She's bro. been amazing. Yes, sir. Amazing. No, Life, like, man. If we, I'm, I'm mean, gonna go back and watch this episode like I wasn't on it. <laughs> no, for real. Man, for, for real. real. I can't, I can't real. wait to cut this one up. Nah, no, it's for real. It's, it's life, man. And you know, y'all 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 have information I need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I have some information you need. Ain't no hopefully. And that's yeah. and. And that's how we build. Yeah. That's real. Nah, real talk. And we, and, and, and we receive it as that. And we just got game from an R&B legend. We know yeah. it's kids who was conceived off of your music. No, that's so real kids. shit. So many kids. So many kids. So many kids. Look so humble. It's so many that, kids. <laughs> it's game that we just don't get from nah, other places. Nah. Yeah. You know, it's real game that is really sacred. It's you know? real we, interaction just, between yeah. between men. Yeah. And we had, like, we, had a, we had a show and... Um, on on TV on BT called the Man Cave, and you know it was building, it was going somewhere, and you know, you, you know, I got pulled or what have you, and I said, you know, they pulled that show because they really don't understand the significance of men having conversations. Facts. They don't understand that. We don't see that. Like, where's our example of men yeah. having conversation? Grown men dissecting feelings and emotions. It's right here on Nice and Neat. Come on, man. That's the number one at. podcast. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, we 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 need this. Mm -hmm. We need this more than anything. We need Nice and Neat. We need to talk right here and have continue to have these conversations and continue to build and continue to um, help the evolution and the growth. That's Thank real. you of men. Period. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah. And on behalf of Nice and Neat, man, we appreciate you. Hundred percent. Salute right. to the general, uh, man. Salute My to brother. The, salute man. to the general, man. Shit. But check us out, man. Phenomenal, powerful episode. Sheesh. Went deep. Went somewhere we ain't went before. So I know it's going to be amazing. I know you guys are going to receive it well. So if you're listening to this or you are watching this, man, make sure you are all the way tapped in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our Spotify. Subscribe to our Apple Podcast channel. And share the word, all right? If you're watching this on YouTube right now, take a screenshot, post to your story, tag us, and then we're going to repost you um, and shout you out on next week, next week episode. Tank, man, appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Straight all right? Up, and what, what I do want y'all to take from this, man, is it's okay to have these conversations with people that you trust and 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 as long as you're having a conversation you're intentional about the conversation um you know there's benefit in that right mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to have these conversations if you have questions or you you just are seeking information this is the only way that you know we get better as men um as a community as a society and it's a, it's also a conducive way that we we're going to be able to treat our women better Come sure. on. all right so appreciate y'all for tapping in with us. You can follow me on Instagram at Duke. Follow um, O at Omar.Bowden. Follow Jalan at Just.Jalan. And you can follow Tank at? At The Real Tank. The Real Tank. The General. 
All that jazz. I'm Duke. I'm Omar. I'm Jalan. And I'm Tank. And this is another episode of Nice as Meat. And that's that. that everything I'll be the one to take the risk to go and get them bands. I'll be the one to never sit and go and make a plan. Knowing my mother getting old and I don't got no time. Gotta keep a couple for the road or else get left behind. Yeah. To the home.